Hello everyone, this is Joe, and thanks for coming back for another video. I have an up-and-coming project here where I'm going to take the roof of a pop-up camper and I'm going to re-insulate it. The roof on the pop-up camper is fairly flexible, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test with Gorilla Glue, which is a polyurethane-based glue that has a foaming action, which it increases three to four times its initial size and we're going to see if we can bond some insulating foam to the cardboard using the Gorilla Glue and then uh, see if that's going to provide an adequate bonding of the foam to the cardboard. So let's go ahead and get started and let's see how this is going to work. Because Gorilla Glue is a polyurethane based adhesive uh, it interacts with water so what we want to do is we we don't want to get any water in the actual container because it will start to harden so what we want to do is take some Gorilla Glue that we're going to use and we're going to put it in a separate container and whatever we use from the container we're going to throw away when we're done because what we're going to do first off is press some water onto one of the surfaces that's going to be mounted to the foam which is going to have the Gorilla Glue applied to it with a brush so then uh, if you get any water into the Gorilla Glue you do not want to pour it back into the container because it will start to harden on you so this will be a separate process so first of all what we want to do we want to take our Gorilla Glue and we want to brush it onto our foam backing and if we need some more we just put some more in our container it actually doesn't smell that bad. Some adhesives really stink, uh, give off a very toxic odor, but this stuff is not too terribly bad. You have a working time with this of 10 to 15 minutes, so that should be plenty of time to get this spread out on the surface here that we're trying to bond to. Now I'm putting this on fairly thinly. It says not to apply it too thick. So what we're going to do now with a different paintbrush is we're going to apply water on the second surface. And then when you put the foam to the cardboard, in this case, the water will create the interaction between the polyurethane adhesive on the foam and then start the bonding process to the Gorilla Glue on the insulation. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, we're going to push down on the foam and then what I'm going to do is uh, put something heavy on that foam to create a good surface bond. So now we have that on here. We're going to let this set now for two hours. And then we're going to come back and on half of it we're going to try to separate it and see how much of a bond uh, the Gorilla Glue does have to the cardboard. The other half we're going to let it cure the full 24 hours and then we'll do the same just to see it's it's uh, the according to the directions after two hours you should have 80 percent of the strength in the actual bonded surface. So let's go ahead let this cure for two hours and then we're going to come back and take a peek. It's been about 20 minutes since we uh, joined the two pieces, the cardboard and the foam, together. And I just want to point out, look along the edge of the cardboard and the foam. As you can see, the Gorilla Glue is starting to foam up. And according to the directions, it's supposed to expand between three 
and four times its original thickness. So if you can see here, it's really nicely started to expand out. So that's what's supposed to provide um, excellent bonding is that foam or polyurethane is supposed to start expanding into a foam and that's supposed to provide you exceptional bonding. The time now is one hour after I originally did the bonding between the foam and the cardboard. Notice the size of the foaming now. And there's a big bulge right here it is lightly tacky starting to cure up. So as you can see uh, the foaming expands quite a bit. It's been over three hours now and I cut the piece of foam in half. The left hand side I'm going to let fully cure for 24 hours. And on the right side it's cured over three hours. What I want to do now is to to do some testing on this. The reason why I mounted the foam to the cardboard is the roof in my camping in my camper is is a flexible rubberized canvas. So I wanted to get an idea of how the foam is going to interact with the flexible backing. So let's go ahead and try to do some testing here. I want to see just how flexible and strong this Gorilla Glue is going to be. Again, the roof doesn't flex that much, but as you can see, when I bend it, the foam is flexing, and I don't see any separation. Let's try to Okay, so it did peel away from the from the foil backing, but it did grab really strong on that foil backing. So I'm not going to the camper roof is not going to bend that much, but it is going to flex a little bit. So I'm quite uh, quite impressed with the flexible capability of this bond. Again, there's no way the roof is going to bend back that far. If anything, as you're driving, it's just going to flex a little bit. And again, I'm, I'm happy with those results. So we'll come back after 24 hours and we'll do a, a test on the other piece. But from based on what I've seen and the, uh, on the foam after about three hour cure, I think it's going to be just fine for my uh, for my needs. It's now been 24 hours. Let's go ahead. The uh, bulges of the polyurethane glue, they are really hard. So let's go ahead. The reason why I wanted to wait a full 24 hours, I want to make sure it's still somewhat flexible. Oh, I really like that. It's not, the glue is not pulling away from the cardboard at all. And the foam is still flexible to the point, again, the canvas top on the RV or the camper is not going to flex that much, but it is going to flex a little bit. So I'm quite impressed with that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this technique when I do the, install the insulation um, of, of the foam on my camper roof. So hope you enjoyed this video um, and we'll see you next time.